Welcome to Linda's TV show. If it is your first time, you like the channel, you like the program, subscribe and put on your notification bell because it's going to help you to know when I upload a new video. Like you all may know, I present information across the globe, especially in Nigeria to be precise. And I want to appreciate my viewers, my subscribers. You guys are so amazing, especially those who always tune in to watch me each time I upload a new video. Please, let's watch this. If the Yorubas need to go on their own, uh, I have no argument. If any other part of Nigeria too need to go on their own, I have no argument. The essence of it is the more you divide, the more you grow. It's very, very good now. Very, very important. 24 yeah. hours. I mean, Biafra man. No. Uh, I'll be Biafra now. I say about Biafra is about to go. Yes. Like when you let Yoruba go. Yes. Let Yaosa go on their own. Sunday go must be a clown. You didn't know what he's saying. You don't know what he's doing. Nigeria still going to remain one. Remain unity one. And despite the difference of ethnic religious uh, differences, the country has to be still remain one. The kind of nation, whether Yoruba nation, Ipo, Biafra and so forth. The issue is we understand that in Nigeria currently, we have a kind of marginalization coming from the status quo. Uh, and I think the best way to do it is to go back and redraw the board of what Nigeria is. What does it mean to be a Nigerian? And what is the essence and the meaning of our Nigerianness? Is it on the fact that you are Igbo, you are Hausa, or you are Yoruba? Until we begin to do that, we cannot um, find solutions in cessation by calling for a Yoruba nation or Biafra nation. The best we can do is to go back and sit on the table and renegotiate Nigeria from what the colonial masters had done to this country because that is where the problem lies. And that has to be with addressing uh, the point from our constitution. The constitutional arrangement is, is, is a false arrangement and it cannot drive change. It cannot drive prosperity for this country. So I don't think the best thing to do is to call for a Yoruba nation. It should be rather an inclusiveness. Governance that is inclusive, governance that does not look at region, governance that does not look at tribe, and governance that does not look at religion. I think this is how Nigeria can be built. They are divided everywhere. Even in the north, the youth are agitating to go. The southeast are agitating to go. The southwest are agitating to go. The easiest thing in Nigeria is too vast. If I'm to advise, let them go so that there will be development everywhere. We are still one, yes. But when you check what is happening in this country, you know that's real. We are divided. It's not all that have their equal rights. See what is happening in the southeast as, I, as I'm talking to you now. You see the army. Why there's problem in the, uh, in the north? They leave the problem in the north, kidnapping, killing, and all the whole rest of them, facing Nandekal and his group. They have just finished with the people of the southwest. What will you tell me now? Where everybody is agitating, and you know that really they can hold their water. They can hold themselves. They can do things by themselves. Because there's oil here, there's uh, food here. Without food here, the east cannot feed. Without food here, the West cannot feed. So you leave their oil. When they say their oil, they come and buy you food. So it's the same. The same thing applicable to the West. So for me, the trouble is much. You can't be a president that will finish all the whole country because they are agitating for their own rights. So the only thing is to call for dialogue and see how we can you know, move ahead. That's my own. Uh, you see, Nigeria is Nigeria. We have been together for a long time. When situation arrives, what need to do? Government, know, they don't supposed to waste time of doing it. When there's need to intervene on situations, there's no need of wasting time. We have ministers of information which are supposed to know what is going on and take action immediately. What, what are they waiting for? Are they waiting for the life of people to destroy before they can take any step? Many people, people have died of ignorance or death of uh, all these uh, kidnappers, S-men, or many things like that. So all these things, when you look at it, it's a thing you can, you will defend yourself when the country is staged. 
I'm not talking of being separate and uh, Yoruba go to the next. We are all message we are Nigerians. And we continue to be Nigerian if we decide to be so. So you think the government is not doing enough? They are not doing enough. They are not doing enough at all. They are not doing enough. If they do enough, the life of citizens has to be more important to them. I think uh, the Sunday go must be a clown. He didn't know what he's saying. He don't know what he's doing. Nigeria still going to remain one. Remain unity one. And despite the difference of ethnic religious uh, differences, the country has to be still remain one. But for Sunday go to be saying he's calling for Yoruba nation. Yoruba has to come back home. He's not the only Yoruba. There is a lot of Yorubas that are residing in, in Kanu, Asian city, that are residing in Kaduna, Garin Gubna, they are that are residing in Abuja here, uh, Geri of the Gwaris, that if you tell them now, there are some Yoruba that are even in the Igbo land, that are even in the Potakop, Calabar, are you getting me right, that are in Enugu, that if you tell them now to come back to Yoruba land to stay, they will stone you, or they will abuse you, because they, are, they have already get their potentials from a state that is not Yoruba state. So Sunday will go, if he's talking, he should not talk on his own behalf. He should get it right with the people in the Yoruba land self. In Ogun, state of uh, Obasanjo, former head of state, General uh, Obasanjo, retired, not tired. He has to go to Oyo, the state of the Lamidi. Oba, Oba of Oyo. He has to go to to Oshun. He has to go to Ondo to get it right with all the people in the Yoruba land first. With their leaders. People that matter in the Yoruba land. He has to get it right with them before he can call for the Yoruba nation. As you can see, it's a good thing to call for Yoruba. Let them come back. Because this country, I don't know. There's confusion everywhere. The leaders are not telling us the truth. And they are hiding the truth, people killing everywhere. Book, every, all this kind of is happening in this country. So this should not continue. There should be a way, unity, a way that Yoruba should come back and fight their own way out. Because insecurity in this country is causing a, little, a lot of problem in this country. People are not safe. Lives and property are destroyed. And the government are not doing anything. This is frustrating now. So it's a situation that is a, a big move. I love it. Calling for the Yorubas that are in different places to come back home. You shouldn't forget the last Biafra war that we had suffered. In fact, we have not still healed the wound of that Biafra war up to today that we are. We are trying to recouple, to get reform. What he's saying is true. What we need to do is to call on the Fulani, the Fulani, they are held us, not only held us in Ibadan, everywhere they are, they are leaders in this nation, every part of Nigeria where the Fulani are, our elders are supposed to meet with them and get things right. These Fulani, there is no way you would take them away from Nigeria. They are Nigerians. The Yoruba nation, if the Yorubas need to go on their own, I have no argument. If any other part of Nigeria to need to go on their own, I have no argument. The essence of it is the more you divide, the more you grow. That is the thing. So if the Yoruba nation choose to go on their own and the entire Yoruba is support of it, then I will give it a support. Too. Though I am not a Yoruba man, but I am not against somebody who is looking for it, a freedom. Freedom is one thing that will struggle from birth. So if Sunday go and the entire Yoruba nation, the elites in the Yoruba and the Obas and the Talakawas in Yoruba, they say they want a Yoruba nation and they are in agreement, I give it to them. Then the Nigerian government should free them because we are looking for freedom. Even the Nigerian government itself is, don't want a foreign interference. So if a citizen in Nigeria to say we want our own to rule ourselves, then they should be able to let the people go. After all, our president is supporting the Sarawak Republic of the Morocco. He is supporting them to go. 
So why is he not supporting the people of Nigeria to, to go on their separate ways, those who want to go? We should go without fighting. I am from the Niger Delta anyway. If we too have decided to go, we should go, but I don't think we are ready to go first. But if the Yorubas are ready to go, let them go. If the Igbos are ready to go, let them go. No problem. We are still brothers. That won't stop us as uh, neighbors. After all, we are neighbors to Cameroon. Part of Cameroon was part, was part of Nigeria. Uh, so are we fighting? We are not fighting. So we can still be brothers. Deep in the shadow, well, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time or first day of coming across my YouTube channel or seeing my face. You are highly welcome. Hey, please be comment to my next channel. My name is Linda Chukwezi. It comment and that says subscribe and you turn on the notification bell so that you'll be able to get information okay. on the bis zum nächsten video und einen schönen tag tschüss tschüss bis mein yes, subscribe bis. to linda's tv show what are you waiting for click on that red button that says subscribe you turn on the notification bell so that you'll be getting more updates from me leave your, your comments down below and share this video with your friends families and colleagues until we meet again in my next video bye bye